Jeremy, the minute that you get this, call me. Unbelievable. Feisty. Mad. It's not that I'm mad, I'm just I'm worried. Why? He lost his job at the grill. I think he'll survive, Len. He's spiraling. Ever since Bonnie broke up with him, he's moody. He's not really talking to anyone. It's a typical teenager. Who's seen ghosts and who's lost everyone that he cares about? Not everyone. He still has you. You okay? It makes you think I'm not okay? Well, you're a day drunk. It's not exactly your most attractive look. No. What is my most attractive look? I'm not saying that you have any attractive look. I'm just saying this is my least favorite one. Noted. See if I can make any improvements. Don't mind me. Oh. You gonna do this in the grill? In front of everyone? It's a little beneath you, don't you think? I don't know what you're talking about. I just came down to my local pub to grab a drink with a mate. Get around in, would you, Tony? I'm surprised you stuck around town long enough for happy hour. My sister seems to be missing. Need to sort that out. Cute, blonde bombshell, psycho. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Truth is, I've grown to rather like your little town. Thinking I might fancy a home here. Oh, I imagine you're wondering, how does this affect you? The answer is, not in the slightest. As long as I get what I want and everyone behaves themselves, you can go on living your little lives however you choose. You have my word. What more could you possibly want? Well, for starters, you can tell me where I might find Stefan. Stop and skip town the second you saved your ass. Well, you see, that is a shame. Your brother stole from me. I need him found so I can take back what's mine. That sounds like a class in the Stefan problem. <sighs> well, this is me broadening the scopes we are.